What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Oh, boy, I hate to get back on this, but we have to talk about Brother Roland Martin. Or for some of y'all, you might want to say Sister Roland Martin. <laughs> okay, I'm just, I'm just saying. And we all saw... The particular incident that brother roland martin had brother roland martin got caught looking at some cheeks either he did that or somebody else uh you know booty clapped it up and it was some men that were over there booty clapping as he was walking and it was naked cheeks for the majority of us that saw that and heard about that we were taken aback but at the same time some of us were not shocked because roland martin could actually um be swinging that way if he is it's up to him but again like that's what what he might be doing but we saw those male cheeks on air and i have every reason to believe that roland martin was was couldn't keep his mind off of the booty cheeks while he was talking brother Tariq nasheed decided to weigh in on the booty clap situation he calls it the bussy gate incident shout out to him that was first i got inspired by brother Tariq nasheed and i called my version clap gate family so i want to give a shout out to brother Tariq for the bussy gate and now i am rolling with clap gate okay so roland was involved in clap gate okay not to be stealing from the brother Tariq nasheed he says this i'm going live later today to discuss roland martin's bussy gate incident i was going to go live earlier today but i've been looking for my roly the boule bird puppet but my kids lost the puppet i think this was the ancestors intervening because i was going to go to some extremes with the pettiness today it was going to be extremely low vibrational yes brother Tariq is petty so am i but he did post a video of this woman who definitely uh had a lot to say about clap gate Let's play that clip. I know I'll be attacked for saying this, but it's fine. It's the truth. Um, but the men who follow Roland Martin do not tend to be alpha males. They normally tend to be what is called beta males. And I'm not saying this as an insult, you know, but it is what it is. Back in the day, they called them hen pet. They don't wear the pants in their house. Those types of men or LGBTQ men, those are normally the men that follow Roland Martin. Um, whenever you see an alpha male, a headstrong male, um, a male who stands on his shit on his show, Roland Martin attacks that man. So this is my observation. Y'all can get mad all y'all want. So when that video was released, it didn't surprise me. You know what I'm saying? If it comes out that it's not real, cool. But for now, until I see that it's not, I believe it because his behavior leads me to believe that's what he likes. And if he likes that, cool. You know, you grown. Do what you do. But I'm just saying, Roland Martin is very sassy. And alpha males do not follow Roland Martin. When I have men attacking me on behalf of the defense of Roland Martin, I mean, they, they don't be the most masculine men. That's all I'm saying. All right, guys. So you heard, you heard that, right? Now, I, I want to just talk about this she made a point that every time roland martin gets in front of a strong black man he attacks him now i needed evidence for this so I was sitting up trying to basically find out what it was and you know what we have an actual interview of roland martin going one-on-one -on -one with dr umar johnson on his show that video has 7.5 million views and i want to play some of that and we're going to see what happened uh, also uh during that particular interview uh you you talked about a a variety of issues that also uh got people uh talking one of them uh, dealt with your views on interracial marriage yes sir and so uh it, and, and so explain that for folks who did not hear it uh certainly simply put any black man who is with a woman who's not an african herself 
is going to have a difficult time getting respect from me. I believe black men need to be with black women. The black family is under attack. Only one out of every four black women gets married. The black woman is last likely to get married. She's the last married, the first divorced. We have what? Two thirds of our children being raised by working class and impoverished single black female led house homes. The destruction of a nation begins in the home of its families. And if we want to save black people, we have to save the black family. So, and in order to do that, black men have to commit themselves to black women. So I'll, so when you talk about not getting your respect, so, which, so if that's the case, you're saying uh, Senator Barack Obama, to, excuse me, President Barack Obama didn't get your respect because his dad uh, married a white woman? Oh, not at all. Would, uh, uh, would Harry Belafonte? Not at all. I want to be very clear about something. As Pan-Africanists, the product of an interracial union is an African. I have heroes who are biracial. Some of the grandfathers of Pan-Africanism were of mixed racial ancestry. You don't blame a child for how they got here. But I'm asking you this here. Harry Belafonte has a white wife. No respect for him? Sydney it would Quartier, be very, it doesn't Sydney, matter. It Sydney, doesn't matter your social status. So no, 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 I didn't say social I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the one who put the work Right, in. but you put so, him so, out. No, 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 I'm asking you. So mm -hmm. Harry Belafonte. Yes, sir. Sidney Poitier, Julian Bond, Vernon Jordan. And you're say, naming all them to say what? No, these are all African-American mm -hmm. men. Who have, who have done some good things. No, who have married white women. But you said you, no, any, any black man who marries a white woman will not get your respect. Can I respond? Yeah, go ahead. And what I'm telling you is this. I don't care who you name. I don't care how much work you did for black people. Your greatest commitment to black people is being committed to a black woman. It is still a contradiction. No matter how much you think you did for the struggle, if you really were concerned with black people, you would have committed yourself to a black woman. All right, so, you know, we can see a little bit of that frustration again because Roland Martin, he is likely to be beta mailing it up. Uh, the first thing that I want to talk about is that all of the black men that have decided to think freely for themselves, Roland Martin is always attacking them along with Van Jones. And then when you talk about black men, Roland Martin is not a black man. Um, hold on, Roland Martin is not an encourager of black male masculinity. He usually is always talking about in my honest opinion, respect black women. We need to let black women lead black women this and black women that love black women, let black women lead. And I, I don't have any problem with respecting black women and in, in certain instances, leadership, right? But at the, but it, it comes um, at the downfall of black men. And that's what I get from brother Rolla Martin. Okay. At the, you know, it's at the behest of the DNC that black men should lose their grip on being a leader. And when you look at Roland Martin, it's all about beta male economics, dusty beta male economics. Anything that allows black men be dusty, seems like Roland Martin is all for that. Why must that be the case, I wonder? Why is it that black men have to always be in a dusty situation when it comes to these guys, all the time, a black man must continuously be in the dust. Why, why, why? And this is what I would like to know. And this is what I wanna know for the Democratic Party. Why do you guys attack strong black men who have their own opinions? The same thing with Tyrese, he attacked Tyrese. Um, anybody that has anything to say, everything Clapgate is always attacking black men. And you think that black men don't see this and you wonder why so many black men are leaving the DNC. And the thing is, we need black men who are going to stand up. We have been underneath this, I would say, largely female-led expedition for the last 50 years. We've seen how it's turned out. It is a great thing that black women have more opportunities than ever before. And I don't have any issue with that. Unfortunately, um, black men were not the reasons why they were not getting those opportunities. We were not stopping them. That was the system that was stopping all black people, black men and black women, okay? And so we've seen it, the men are unhappy, the women are unhappy in the way that things are going. You have, we've seen more unmarried black women than ever. You've seen more unhappy black men than ever. So continuing on this pathway, it's just gonna make these black men defect or not wanna deal with the black community at all, which is what we're seeing. Nobody who is a real man and wants to take ownership of their lives and their families wants to be a beta male, Roland. No black man wants to be a beta male, to be a footstool for a, uh, for their wife. It, it, no, a, a man is not gonna work hard to do that. This is why you see these, these black men going into other communities and other races, So and, and, and some of them still grift, like Van Jones. Van Jones is the perfect example. He don't even deal with black women. He stays with a white woman, and then comes and then talks on behalf of the black woman, 
while he's clapping white cheeks. So you guys got to be serious. You guys got to honestly understand what these guys want and stop attacking these men for wanting to lead their communities and wanting to question things, okay? That's why none of them like Tariq. They don't like Professor Black. True, Jason Black, they don't like O'Shea because, man, we, we're going to look. We got to say what we're going to say. If things don't seem right as a man, you got to stand on it. And you can't be going around just being a footstool for everybody because well, the Asian man stand up for himself, the Jewish man stand up for himself, the white man stand up for himself. Why do the black man gotta always be a beta male? And the reason is we have people out here who are basically backing black men into a beta male position anytime they want to be leaders. And the main person doing that all the time is Roland Martin. He's always attacking any black man that wants to be masculine, Mr. Clapgate. So guys, what do you think it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson? Back at it again with an episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out.